Richard Nixon, the 37th President of the United States, is a name that sparks various reactions, ranging from admiration to disdain. Nixon was born on January 9, 1913, in Yorba Linda, California, to Francis Anthony Nixon and Hannah Millis Nixon. His father, Francis, was a grocer and farmer, while his mother, Hannah, was a Quaker who instilled the value of hard work and honesty in Nixon from a young age. Nixon's early life was marked by hard work and determination. He was an excellent student and went on to study at Whittier College, where he excelled academically and was a star in the school's football team. After graduating, he attended Duke University Law School and later joined the U.S. Navy during World War II, where he served as an officer in the Pacific Theater. Nixon's political career began in the late 1940s when he won a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives as a Republican. He later served as a senator from California before being selected as vice president under President Dwight D. Eisenhower. In 1960, Nixon ran for president but lost to John F. Kennedy in a closely contested election. Nixon ran again for president in 1968 and won, defeating his Democratic opponent, Hubert Humphrey. During his presidency, Nixon was known for his policies on foreign affairs, including his visit to China in 1972 and the signing of the Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty with the Soviet Union. However, his presidency was also marked by several controversies, including the Vietnam War, the Watergate scandal, and his resignation in 1974. Despite the controversies, Nixon was a prolific writer, authoring several books throughout his career. His first book, Six Crises, was published in 1962 and chronicled his experiences during his political career. He later wrote books on foreign policy, including Real Peace and No More Vietnams, and his memoirs, Iron, The Memoirs of Richard Nixon, which were published in 1978. Nixon was married to Thelma Catherine, Pat, Nixon, and the couple had two daughters, Patricia and Julie. Nixon's marriage to Pat was a loving one, and the couple often held hands in public, displaying their affection for each other. Pat Nixon was known for her charitable work and was a strong supporter of the arts, promoting the establishment of the National Cultural Center, now known as the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. Nixon's legacy is a complicated one, with his achievements in foreign policy often overshadowed by the controversies of his presidency. However, his contributions to international relations cannot be denied, and his books continue to be studied and analyzed by scholars worldwide. Nixon died on April 22, 1994, at the age of 81, due to complications from a stroke. His funeral was attended by dignitaries from around the world, including former presidents George H.W. Bush, Gerald Ford, and Jimmy Carter, and was a testament to the impact he had on American politics. In conclusion, Richard Nixon was a complex figure who left an indelible mark on American history. Despite the controversies surrounding his presidency, he will be remembered for his contributions to international relations, his love for his wife and family, and his prolific writing career. A man is not finished when he's defeated, he's finished when he quits. This quote from Nixon means that a person can only truly be defeated if they give up and stop trying. Even if someone faces setbacks or obstacles, they can continue to strive towards their goals and aspirations. The finest steel has to go through the hottest fire. Nixon's quote here suggests that in order to achieve greatness or excellence, one must endure significant challenges and difficulties. Just as steel must be heated and forged to become strong, people must overcome obstacles and challenges to become the best version of themselves. The press is the enemy. This quote from Nixon reflects his contentious relationship with the media during his presidency. Nixon believed that the press was biased against him and that they were unfair in their coverage of his administration. However, many people view this attitude as detrimental to democracy, as a free press is crucial to holding those in power accountable. People react to fear, not love. Nixon's quote here suggests that fear is a more powerful motivator than love or compassion. In politics, this idea has been used to justify authoritarian tactics, such as using fear to manipulate public opinion or justify crackdowns on civil liberties. The greatness comes not when things go always good for you, but the greatness comes when you're really tested, when you take some knocks, some disappointments when sadness comes.
Because only if you've been in the deepest valley can you ever know how magnificent it is to be on the highest mountain. This quote from Nixon emphasizes the importance of perseverance and resilience in the face of adversity. Nixon suggests that true greatness is achieved through overcoming difficult circumstances and that the experience of hardship is necessary to fully appreciate the good times. We appreciate your support in watching our videos. If you enjoy learning about political, business, writer and science leaders biographies and quotes, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up to help us grow and continue bringing you valuable content.